Hi guys, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to today's vlog. I don't know why I've been feeling somehow lately. I've been feeling a little bit off, but I just had to push myself today to talk to you guys because I miss vlogging, I miss talking with you guys. I was just going through my office and I saw some things that I actually got. In fact, I was one of them. This, let me show you guys first. <laughs> this package, I got this package weeks ago. Okay, so it's, um, I think it's called Clever Clogs Books. That's the name of the brand and they have a lot of books that that feature like nigerian kids you know toby visits the conservatory and all of that and there was a book here that she actually gave me i don't even know this person to be honest I, I like i can't even remember when i gave her my you know details for this book but yeah it's written by Ol olubun I was about to call this name like an Igbo girl. Anyway, it was written by Olubumi Abodere Talabi, okay? Um, and the name of the book is Mommy Can I? Yeah, Mommy Can I? And yeah, I don't know. I was just, you know, sorting out my things recently. And I saw that and I was like, what? I received this book a long time ago. And I remember keeping it as, oh, I'm going to unbox it here and show you guys before I read it to my kids. That was how I kept it. You know when you go and hide something so that... Nobody will spoil it. You'll not find it in again. That's what happens to me. So I was really happy when I saw it. Um, I like the illustrations. The book is written by Nigerian, like I said. And it's Mommy Can I. And it's, dedica it's dedicated to mothers everywhere. Um, yeah, dedicated to mothers everywhere. You know, see the other books they have. I'm going to get more books from them, actually. But after this, I pray I remember to just message her. See the other books they have. Yeah, several other books. Diary of a Toddler, Toby Learns to Swim, Toby Bakes Cakes, Toby Visits the Conservatory, Mommy Can I, Cope the Antelope, Why Do You Wash Your Hands, Kilo De Tio Man for... Okay. Kilo De Tio Man for Oware. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have butchering it, but you guys should let me know what that means. Then, okay, then they have an Igbo one. Oh my god, Guinea Mere Ija Kwa Kagi. Oh, nice. And there's an Alsa one, Dom Meake Wanke Hano. Anyway, I'm going to try and leave a link to this book in the description box if I can find maybe her Instagram handle or something. But I don't even know how I got this book. I'll try and check. But yeah, this book, I like the illustrations. You know, Mommy, can I do your makeup? And she's doing. She's doing, trying to do her mom's makeup or, or she wants to help her mom do her makeup which is basically what my kids do all the time like no wonder they say it's dedicated to moms like it's just that play that Igbo one I want to start teaching my kids Igbo you ask me whether I finished speaking Igbo or learning Igbo by myself anyway I don't speak Igbo fluently but I understand perfectly and I can speak it fluently when I hang around people speaking it fluently okay for those of you that were tagging me in Chinyere's uh, Instagram post where she was speaking Igbo, I was like, my own is next. I'm going to fall all of you's hand, okay? When I finish that my video, you guys are going to be like, ah, you you be really Igbo girl. <laughs> anyway, and then this is another thing that I got. This was during Nello's um, um, event, the Royal Ball. So I got this package from the amazing K, very beautiful lady, very not just beautiful in terms of her looks and her very nice skin, but beautiful in terms of the kind of energy she exudes the kind of warmth she exudes okay so yeah her name is k a b m korima kori pamo okay sorry for butchering that name but yeah her name is k cage beauty on instagram cage aesthetics actually on instagram and you know she was one of the judges that day so she gave me this uh, package it's basically her book she has a book which is called skin first and yeah that's the book skin first yeah, skin first, unraveling amazing secrets to becoming irresistible. Ooh. Oh, and there was a tea bag inside. There's a tea bag inside the uh, pack. I said she knows that I like tea. I actually like teas a lot. I don't know if I've said it, said it to you guys, but I actually drink tea a lot. I love teas. Um, so yeah, that's the book. Hmm. I like it. The skin glow hacker. So she wrote. Um, yeah, I don't really see because of the lighting, but it says there are days that you are light, keep shining. Whoa, and she has very lovely handwriting. Um, yeah, so I'm just reading this book. 
you know, because me, I want my skin to glow, okay? Like, my skin glows, though, but I want extra glow. I want to do more. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys, I promise you, I'll be done soon, okay? I have other things to go and do. I'm actually cooking. But, yeah, things that I got from, this is the, um, what do they call it? I want to say party pack. Uh, oh, no, party pack. <laughs> this is the gift bag that we got at the event. And this cup was from Tengu for her podcast. She wants to start a podcast. Tengu is... Uh, Mom's that brunch. She wants to start a podcast called Unfiltered with Tengu. Unfiltered with Tengu. So I just chose this rose gold. I mean, you guys know me and rose gold now. I chose this rose gold cup. But don't, we didn't end up filming. But hopefully next time we'll still film. And then, so inside the party, pa inside the <laughs> inside the gift box, we have this teacup. Ooh, happy smile. Now, fun fact. Part of my merch was supposed to be tea cups, okay? So if you watch my second channel, Reality Check with Ajayze, meanwhile, I'm going to be back on that channel very soon, but if you watch that channel, you'll see that on my table, I usually have mugs. One has Grace, new every morning, while the other one has I was made for the soft life, right? It was supposed to be part of my merch, but I wasn't able to get, okay, I went and bought very nice mugs that I liked, okay? Quality, nice, beautiful mugs. It turns out, those mugs, you can't print on them because they are treated at B or something. Like, I think they have a coating on their body which prevents you from, you know, printing on them. So, that was a fail. So, all the mugs now are just somewhere. I don't know why I didn't even check first, but I just saw the mugs and I liked them. Like, they really met the standard that I wanted. So, that was why I just bought without really consulting my printer first. So, by the time I got the mugs, he now told me that those are not the type of mugs that they print on. So, now I am on the lookout for quality mugs that you can print on okay i don't want those normal nigerian mugs that that's my problem okay because if it's about mugs that they can print on then plenty for market but i don't want those regular stuff okay i don't do regular if you bought my merch you know that my merch is not regular okay my t-shirts are not regular i do not like I, i'm even proud of myself like i have to import those t-shirts <laughs> yeah i have to import those t-shirts because i do not want the regular nonsense but anyway it is what it is then i also got this pack of nails inside my pack i'm happy for this press on stick on nails even though i don't have aeroplane do and go now eh i'm gonna open your own channel rubbish so inside the cage package she also gave me this it's from cage cosmetics and it is a lip kit you know i like her packaging nice i like it nice so yeah this press on nails came inside the pack I think it's from, I don't know the name, but on it is written Socks, Socks Nails, as in S-U-X-E. I'll check on Instagram if that's her page. Now, why I, I never really try press on nails is that anytime I buy press on nails, they're usually too, too slim for my nail beds. You guys can see how my nail beds, I actually have quite large nail beds. They are quite wide and long, right? So, most times I don't get the size, especially for my biggest nails, like my um, thumb and my middle finger. I think one of them is usually usually space beside it when, whenever I get all these package press on nails But I'm going to try this one because this ones look big enough at least but I don't think it's big enough for my thumb the ones in the middle small. The ones in the middle look big enough Even though I'm not sure it's big enough for it's came with a thank you card how to apply how to remove and also the glue and you know application kits basically they are all inside here. I don't want to bring them out. The application kit basically is here. Nice. Okay. That's cool. So I'm going to try it out later on. I'm going to try and, you know, install those ones and see how it works. And anyway, um, these panties came from Kudi Secret. I actually buy from Kudi Secret already. And I love all her products. Very affordable products. So she also, you know, um, gave all of us panties. Kudi Secret. That's it. Yeah, could you see Chris? She's here in Port Harcourt. Ooh, I know they wear this type of pant though. Hey, what's happening here? <laughs> what's happening here? I know they wear this kind of pant though. Hmm, wow, wow, anyway. Then makeup from Debbie Lost as well. Moisture lip gloss. Nice. Let me see the type of lip gloss if it's the one I like. Cause there's this, there's this lip gloss I use from Debbie Luster already, and I love it so much. Okay, it's not this type, but yeah, I'm going to try this. 
So yeah, I'm going to try those makeup from Debbie Luster. I actually have some of her makeup and they are quite good, okay? Like, they are quite good and it's a Nigerian brand. We met her in Abuja when we went to Abuja and, you know, she has fantastic products. The formulation, the formula, the, you know, texture and all of that of her products are quite good. Like, you won't even believe it's a Nigerian brand when you use them. So, I'll maybe do a full face of makeup from them someday. I want to try K's um, makeup stuff. Let me use this one first to line my lips. Oh, I like this color. I like this color. Nice. I love this color. Why I love this color is that it's, it's, not, it's not too dark. So, it's not really... It won't be that obvious on my lips. Because most times, whenever I line my... I have dark lips normally, so I don't want need to line my lips when I use lip gloss most times but whenever I line my lips I don't know why I feel like I look wicked anytime I line my lips I don't like the look especially with very dark um, liner I always feel like I look somehow so I like this shade I hope this is her own oh, no. yeah this is her own oh, it's so soft I like it okay so this is about to be my lip combo for life okay <laughs> I like him. Mm. And it has dried down. Okay. Even though it has dried down, it is numb. It's still moving a bit. Like I'm I can still blend this mom. Oh my goodness. I like it. You guys just tell me the truth. Like let's let not be because I'm the one that is talking. How does this look on my lips? This is about to be my next lip combo for life for life. Like I have to just keep this kit somewhere that I will not look for it. <laughs> I like him. Just let me know. Like, forget what I've been saying since so. From what you are seeing on camera, is this the best lip combo you have seen on me or what? Okay, I mean like nude lip combo. Or lip combo period, because I, I hardly do lip combos that are not nude. If I'm not doing nude lip combo, I just go for plain red lipstick. <laughs> nice, I love it. Anyway guys, um, like I said I was cooking, so let me just go and continue my work, okay?